What's good, YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make vertical videos inside of OBS Studio without having to do all the extra steps as far as in your editor, stacking clips and zooming in, cropping in, and putting it where it got to be, and linking the tracks and doing all this. And it's quite time consuming if you've never done it before. This is going to get you right every single time. So all you got to do is head over to the website and download it. The link will be in the description. You can download it there. And then once you install it, it's going to do everything for you. I had my OBS closed. And when I opened OBS up, it was right there chilling, waiting for me. It let me lock this in where I wanted it to over towards the right. Sometimes it doesn't want to act right when you got dual screens, but there you go. So it's locked over there and you might have to make these bigger depending on how small they made it on your screen. So just do that. All right. So starting things off, we have some settings right here. So when we pop those open, we can choose if we want to do 1080p or we can do 720p. We can choose to show vertical scenes inside the main scene list, or we can keep them over here in their designated area. You can also change your video bit rate right here as well. So I do 70,000 kilobits per second. You don't have to do that. Uh, I do that just so I can upscale to 4K and stuff like that for some of my videos. As far as the audio bit rate, I went on ahead and put it on 320. We got the backtrack. This is basically your replay buffer. So it's just a different name for the vertical scene situation. So, and then right here, as long as this is check marked, it's going to start running. As soon as you start streaming or recording, you can choose how many seconds you want it to do backwards. I normally do 30 seconds because I noticed that if I do more than that for like game clips, I get too much stuff that I didn't need. So you can choose whatever you like most. I'm going to leave mine on 30 seconds. You can also choose the recording path where they're going to go. You can save a backtrack hotkey. So therefore you don't got to come in and hit it on the screen and all this stuff. You can just do it with your stream deck programming like that, or you can do it with your keyboard, whichever one suits your needs as far as streaming you can stream from here as well so streaming to TikTok and stuff like that is going to be way more easier than having to have multiple applications open at the same time you can do everything from OBS so you can be streaming regular to whatever platform then you can stream vertical to whatever platform so it's a very very beautiful situation right now and as you can see right here you can indeed do a start streaming high key and a stop streaming high key you don't have to have these starting at the same time if you wanted to i guess you could make a high key where they're all the same so it just starts on both immediately but some people might not want to do that as far as the recording situation we have the recording path and we have the start recording high key and the stop recording high key you can do that as well and down here you see we are on version 1.0.3 and i'm going to go ahead and x off of that so as far as adding things into this is now as far as adding things into the vertical scenes and sources situation is just as easy as adding it into the regular section of obs all you got to do is name it, whatever you want to name it. I'm going to leave it as vertical scene, but you can rename it if you want to. You can add filters. You can do the things that you can do with these with this. So I'm going to leave it right there. And then over here, I'm going to go ahead and hit the plus for adding a source. And right here, I'm going to go ahead and add my camera. So all you got to do is go down to video capture device. And this right here should be my camera. And then if you want, you can resize it, put it where you want it and do all this type of stuff right there. I'm gonna hide it for right now. And then the next thing you can do is go ahead and add your actual game source. So I'm gonna go back to that video capture situation. And this time I'm gonna choose my Elgato. So right now I have my Elgato pulled up and then I can resize it and all that stuff like that. So you can get it the exact size you like. And if you're not currently playing a game and you're not about to play right now, you can just pull up some of your game captures on your console or whatever case may be, and then line them up where you would normally have it. And it'll just work just like you need it. So since I'm already on the Xbox, this is how it's gonna look when I'm playing the game anyway. So I can do it like this and get it all set up. So let's check this out real quick. All right, all right. I ain't gonna lie, I forgot all about this clip. Ugh. And then if I wanted to capture that, all I gotta do is just hit the record vertical right there. And then it, it can be recording while I'm doing this. Like I don't have to just record backtracks. And if I wanna get a backtrack, I just hit the backtrack button right there and then it'll do a backtrack. And then if you wanna quickly get to where you have it saved, all you gotta do is just go to show recordings right here. Then it'll pull it up right here. If we wanted to check that out, we can simply just double click right there.
And the reason why you didn't hear any type of audio from the actual game track is all there. It says I record on different tracks. So my voice is on the track, my game is on the track, and then the party chat when I'm talking to people, that's on its own track as well. So when I'm playing the video back, all you're gonna hear is the first track, which is my microphone, but you can still hear it picking it up from my headphones. But everything's gonna be there when you drop it into your editor. And just so you know, I'm not BSing you. I'm gonna drag that over. I'm gonna pop this up and I'm gonna drag it right where it needs to be. And there you have it right there. Everything is right in its wonderful place where it's supposed to be. And if we hit play on it, Like I said, it's just that easy, just that simple. I just wanted to throw in real quick, right here you see how we can still click and move and do all that other stuff. We can actually lock these over here just like we can lock them over there. So lock them so therefore you won't be able to move them around, mess up what you just organized. And don't forget, you can add text to this as well. You can add picture overlays, whatever you wanna add to make it more unique, more cool, more you, you can do that. Anything that you can do over here, you can do over here. Make it look nice, make it look beautiful. Get them clips, get to going viral, get to getting all the views on TikTok, YouTube shorts, wherever the case may be. Instagram, it don't matter. Facebook, I don't know. The choice is yours. This is a beautiful, magnificent situation. If this video helped you out, please slam the like button. It's greatly appreciated. And a lot of people be commenting saying they don't know how to thank me. Thank me by leaving a like. It's cool. Like You don't gotta do too much. You don't gotta do nothing crazy. And if you really wanna thank me, let them ads play. Let about 35 seconds of them ads play or let them play all the way. That's how you can support your YouTubers. Liking and letting them bad boys play. I'm just keeping it real with you. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Big, huge thanks to Harris Heller and Adam. They are here going crazy. If this is what they're giving us right now, imagine what they're going to give us later on in the future. And me personally, I am for certain ready to see what they have in store for all of us because it's going to get wild.